Hi everyone, in this video we will be taking a look at AOMI Backup, a free and easy to use backup and restore software for Windows. AOMI Backup is a backup and recovery software that can be used to create backups of your data system and partitions. It can be used to create a full backup of your system which includes all your files, settings and applications. Or you can choose to create a partial backup by selecting specific files and folders. AOMI Backupper also has the ability to create incremental and differential backups, which only include changes made since the last backup, saving time and storage space. In addition to backups, AOMI Backups can also be used to restore your system or files from previously created backup. It can also be used to clone a hard drive, migrate the system to a new hard drive or SSD, and create a bootable media in case your system fails to boot. Overall, AMI Backupper is a useful tool for creating backups and creating your data safe. It is a easy to use and has a variety of features to suit different backup and recovery needs. First, let's download and install AMI Backupper. You can find the download link in their website or you can just search for AMI Backupper on Google and click on the uh, first result the installation process is pretty uh, straightforward just follow the on string instructions here we get the link to MA backupper direct link click on free download you will get a lot of options which includes the paid versions here is the link for AMA backupper freeware this is a completely free version uh, there is no restriction or whatever uh, trial uh, uh, features in this version. You can use all the features available in freeware without any uh, trial expiration. Simply follow the on-screen instructions for installing the free version. Skip the uh, trial uh, offer for the st standard edition or pro edition. Click on install now. The installation is successful. Let's check the backup. Okay, uh, let's uh, have a look at the main features um, available in this edition. Home is having new backup and new sync option. New backup means if, if you are uh, creating a backup for your system, you can uh, do complete system backup that including your EFI partition, system reserved part recovery partition and the C drive. Uh, that is uh, that can be used to restore your uh, system completely in the event of a fa system failure or you are if you want to create a uh, full clone for a uh, migration to ssd or another bigger hard disk disk backup is used to uh, create a backup for a data disk it is uh, not for the system um, backup it is for the data backup similarly you can create a AOMI one key recovery partition on your disk 
in case uh, your system uh, crashes or fails similar similar to the windows recovery environment uh, ame one uh, uh, provides you a option say um, called one key recovery using this recovery the it will boot to uh, the recovery partition created by the ame and you can restore the backed up image and uh, similarly you can create a partition just a partition or a volume backup file backup is used to backup a particular folder or a file in a uh, schedule you can uh, uh, select individual files to uh, backup similarly uh, additionally you can have you can create a cloud backup option you can create a uh, there is a option to uh, uh, backup all the files to a cloud uh, in case your old physical hard disks are failed you can retrieve the data from the cloud by signing up with ami cloud this is the sync uh, features to cloud uh, basic sync uh, will allow you to uh, sync your files to the cloud and uh, other sync option real time sync mirror sync two way sync uh, like options are available only on pro editions next option is restore uh, if you want to restore uh, a system from a uh, crea already created uh, backup image you can use this feature clone clone is used when you are uh, migrating your uh, mechanical hard disk or hdd to an ssd you can use this uh, disk clone option uh, system clone option is available only on uh, pro edition you can use disk clone disk clone means you can uh, clone an, an entire disk hdd if if thus if that particular hdd is having uh, uh, multiple partitions it will clone entire disk to a new disk you can uh, similarly you can also uh, clone a partition too other tools available is uh, uh, create bootable media explore image uh, recovery and en environment similarly similar to the windows recovery and en environment uh, another tool is uh, disk wipe uh, all these tools are available only on uh, pro edition disk wipe is used to clean your disk so that uh, no one can uh, recover your data that is already deleted and uh, there is a, another options also like notification setting storage management uh, and uh, you can also view logs in case uh, there is a error um, popped up you can view the logs okay we can just uh, let us uh, just check the system backup option what are the options you can uh, in system backup it will be selecting the required necessary partition like efi partitions and system reserved partitions and uh, recovery partition and it will be backed up to a another drive uh, select a local path you can select a path uh, wherever it is having enough uh, free space enough room for uh, creating this backup select that destination drive uh, here i don't have a uh, drive that is having enough space so i'm skipping that but uh, once you have uh, selected this uh, destination drive you can click start backup and the backup process will be starting on the next uh, screen you will be uh, uh, seeing a option to customize the backup you can choose to include or exclude certain files or folders from the backup and you can schedule the backup to run automatically at a specific time or a or on a specific day when you are done customizing the backup uh, click start up to begin uh, start backup to begin the process 
the backup process may take some time depending on the size of the file you are backing up and the speed of your computer when the backup is complete you will see a conf confirmation message on the screen now that we have created a backup uh, let's say something uh, goes wrong and you need to restore your system to do this click on uh, restore option in uh, my backupper and select the backup you want to restore you will be asked to select a destination where you want to restore the files and then you can start restore to begin the process that's it you know uh, know how to use AMI backup to create and restore the backup on your Windows computer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to regularly create a backups to protect your important files. Thank you.